When you're adding a bigger oil cooler, the oil capacity will change. So what's happening is this cooler can be filled with X amount of oil. And this cooler can be filled with more oil than this one. So your engine will be filled with more oil than it was from the beginning. This is very important when you're mounting your oil cooler. And this is why you always should mount your oil cooler like this. The fittings should be up. Why? Because when you turn your car off, the oil will stay in the oil cooler. If you're mounting your oil cooler with the fittings down and you turn your car off, the oil will drain back to the oil sump. And when the oil drains back to the oil sump, the oil level will be higher. And when you start the car, the oil level will be lower. But if you mount the oil cooler with the fittings up and you stop the car, you will have the same amount of oil in your oil pan as you started up with. This is a very important thing because if the cooler is mounted like this and you're filling your engine with oil af after an oil change or anything like that, you will fill it up to the correct level. When you're starting the car, it will fill up the oil cooler and the level will actually be a little bit too low. Especially if you're running a big oil cooler like this, it will impact the oil level, it will. So remember, always mount the fittings up because the oil will stay in the oil cooler when the car is turned off.